Welcome back to another video. Thank you for joining me today. Now today's topic is probably one of the most requested topics that I've had recently. Um, like I've said in some of my other videos, you know, for the purposes of the exam, the business and finance exam, you know, we don't need to be CPAs and we don't need to be accountants, but there are certain accounting principles that we do need to understand. And one of those principles is going to be depreciation. But more specifically, I would say it's straight line depreciation. Luckily for us, straight line depreciation is actually quite simple. Um, it's really just a matter of one simple calculation that you don't even have to do because you're going to have a calculator. So there's really not much to it. I think it's fairly simple. I think it's fairly easy. And I think you're going to master it quickly. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do a bunch of practice questions so that you can get comfortable with the formula. And that's really all you need for, um, for this topic. So let's, let's get into it. What is straight line depreciation? Uh, it's an accounting method used to allocate the cost of a fixed asset evenly over its useful life. The method calculates depreciation by sub subtracting the asset's salvage value from its purchase price and dividing the result by the number of years the asset is expected to be used. All right, that's the definition of what it is, okay? Now, if you remember what the formula is, great, that'll be even easier. But for whatever reason, if you forget what the formula is, you can always refer to page 163 in the Builder's Guide to Accounting. If I was you, I would bookmark that page, all right? Just in case, just in case. So depreciation expense, what's another way of putting it? So kind of like what we just mentioned in the definition, this is the actual formula, and that's the cost of asset minus salvage value divided by useful life of asset in years. So to put it in the simplest terms possible, it's essentially the, the calculation, it's something minus something divided by something, okay? Now, they're not going to try to trick you in the, um, in the question. All the values that you need are going to be in there. The only thing you need to do is to read the question carefully, all right? Now, there's going to be certain deviations from question to question, for the, but for the most part, the formula doesn't change. The information is just going to change. The values are going to change, but you plug in those values and you have your answer. It's not that difficult. You just have to be focused and you have to pay attention to the wording, all right? So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a bunch of practice questions, and I think that if you're, going to, if you're good with these practice questions, you're probably ready with this topic and you're, you're set um, for the exam, at least with respect to straight lines appreciation. So let's get into it. Example number one. So we have um, DJT Incorporated bought a new plane for $1 million. How much was depreciated each year? Assume straight lines appreciation, a five-year life, and no salvage value. So this is essentially the kind of question that you're going to see on the exam. Seems pretty straightforward. There's really not much to it. As you can see, kind of like I said, the values are given to you. You just have to take these numbers and put them into the proper order for the, in the formula and just plug it in and you've, you've got your answer. So what I would do is that I would do the work right now, uh, pause this video, do the calculation uh, because I'm going to move on and then the next, the next screen, at least for me, that's where the answer is. So pause the video, do the work, then come back okay, and see if you got the same thing that I got. So the answer is D. That's the, the answer to number one is D, and that's 200,000. How did we get there? So let's, let's go to the formula. So we have $1 million because that's the value of the plane minus zero. Why zero? Because there's no salvage value. So $1 million divided by five. Why five? Because there's a five-year life. So $1 million divided by five equals to 200,000. Simple, right? Not like I said, not much to it. You don't need to be an accountant to do this. OK, this is just very, very basic math. But let's keep working. Let's keep doing this because, you know, different kinds of questions, different wording. You, you want to be able to be comfortable pulling the values out, plugging them in. JBJ LLC bought a new truck for $50,000. How much was the total depreciation during the fourth and fifth year? Assume straight line depreciation, a five year life and no salvage value. OK, same thing. Pause the video, do the work, then come back to the video. I'm going to move on to the next screen. That's what the answer is. So the answer is A, $20,000. Okay, how did we get there? Let's, let's think about this. Let's work it out. So if we go to the calculation, 
all right? The value of the truck is $50,000, all right? There's no salvage value. So it's $50,000 divided minus zero. And the value, uh, the five, it's got a five year life. So it's $50,000 divided by five, which equals to $10,000. But here's the thing, okay? With this kind of question, they're making sure you paid attention to what they were asking for. Here, they're, as opposed to the previous question, they're not asking what the depreciation was each year. If you, if you saw it, you saw that they said during the fourth and fifth year. So actually, they're asking you what was the depreciation for two years worth, all right? We know that they depreciated at $10,000 per year, but since we're talking about year four and five, which is two years altogether, the actual answer is 20, okay? It's A, $20,000. They're not trying to trick you. Like I said, the actual, the work is the same, the formula is the same. They're looking to see whether you read the question. That's, that's all there is to it, all right? A little bit different, but like I said, pay attention to the wording. It's really important, really important, all right? Let's move on to the next question. XYZ Construction uh, bought a new machine for $75,000. After 10 years, the salvage value is $15,000. How much was the depreciation each year? Assume straight line depreciation. Once again, pause the video, do the work, and then come back to it. I'm going to move on. The answer is B, $6,000. How do we get there? So let's do the calculation. So the value of the machine is $75,000. And now, as opposed to the previous questions, we have a salvage value, which is in this case, $15,000. So $75,000 minus $15,000 is $60,000. And we know that this is a 10 year life, all right? So $60,000 divided by 10 year life, which equals to $6,000 per year, because this question is asking for the depreciation each year, all right? so. Once again, slightly different than the previous question, but the formula stays exactly the same as it always will. Let's move on, okay? Next question. ABC Air Conditioning bought a new van for $45,000. After six years, the salvage value is $5,000. How much was the depreciated value each year? Assume straight line depreciation, all right? Once again, pause the video, do what you have to do, do the work, calculator. Grab the calculator, do it, and then come back to it. I'm gonna move on to the next screen. So the answer is D, 6,666. Let's work it out, how do we get that? So we know that the value of the van is $45,000 and we know that the salvage value of the van is $5,000. So 45,000 minus 5,000 equals to $40,000. Since we have a six year um, lifespan, we have to divide $40,000 by six, which equals to 6,666. Fairly simple, all right? Fairly simple, fairly easy, nothing to it. Just pay attention to the values that they're giving you and you're gonna be okay. Let's move into the next question. So question um, we've got here, DEF construction bought a new piece of equipment for $25,000. After five years, there is no salvage value. How much was the total depreciation? Assume straight line depreciation. All right, got a couple of answers here. Pause the video, do what you have to do, then come back and you and see if your answer matches up to mine. The answer is D, 25,000. Now, how did we get to that? Well, see, this is yet another one of those questions where they're checking to see if you actually read what they're talking about. You can't assume anything and you have to, you have to make sure that you're reading all the words carefully. Because if you just, by default, went straight to the calculation, and we can do that. It's 25,000 because that's the value of the, of the piece of equipment, minus zero because there's no salvage value, okay, divided by five years. If you just did the calculation, and you would come to $5,000. And most likely, that's going to be one of the answers. However, that's not what they're asking, okay, because with this particular question, it's actually quite easy. The key term here is total. They already told you what was the total depreciation. And we know that if there's no salvage value, if there's no value left after the five years, then the total depreciation is the full value of the piece of equipment, which is $25,000, all right? So in this question, you didn't even need to go to the formula because you could have figured out the answer just from the words in the question, all right? 
slightly different than some of the other questions that I gave you um, previously in the, in the previous screens, but it's not really, okay? They're just checking to see if you're reading the questions carefully. And that's really all there is to it, all right? Um, that's five questions. If these five questions you were able to do without any problem, then you're pretty much set with this topic. If you need to review, please do so. Go back, try these questions out again. Uh, it's not going to harm you, it can only help. So if you need to review it a couple times, by all means, you know, do what you have to do to get yourself comfortable with this particular topic. It's not a difficult topic. I think you're going to be okay. All you have to do, like I said, is make sure that you read the question carefully. Other than that, that's pretty much all there is to it with uh, straight lines appreciation. How many questions you're going to get on this topic? I don't know, but are you going to get questions that are gonna ask you about straight lines appreciation? Most likely you're going to get at least one or two. So be ready for it, all right? These are the kind of questions that you wanna see. They're very easy. There's not much to it. The questions that you get in the contractor's manual are going to be significantly more difficult and they're gonna be a lot more time consuming. These questions, you can bang these out in a minute or two each. There really is not much to it. So that's pretty much on this, uh, on this topic. If you've got any other questions, please let me know. If you have any comments, let me know. If there's something else you wanna see, let me know as well. Other than that, I appreciate you uh, watching this video and spending this time with me and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.